friends in this video we will be discussing about the concept of switch statement we have already seen if if else else if later nested if else now in that sequence or the, we can say in the sequence of conditional statements today we will be discussing about the concept of switch statement now first of all what is the use of switch statement so we have seen in else if later also that whenever we have multiple options or multiple uh, variations are available with us and we need to select one out of it from multiple options we need to select one out of it then we can go for that particular case here also switch statement can be used to select one particular case or one particular option out of many based on what so based on the expression given now what is this expression and uh, what you mean by case so we try to understand with the syntax of switch case so very simple whenever you are having for example suppose i have uh, cases like grade okay then it if it is more than 80 then a plus grade more than 60 a grade more than 40 it is we can say b grade and less than that it's a fail so we have four options so these are the cases this is one case a plus another case is a another case is b another case is fail so we will be writing switch statement then what is this expression is expression means what this is the condition or the statement or the variable based on which based on which we will be selecting a particular case this is case number 1 case number 2 likewise many cases are there and we need to select one case out of it so on which basis the case will be selected so it will be selected based on the expression for example another example i'll be taking suppose you want to do like this okay, when i'll press 1 so addition operation is to be performed when i press 2 then multiplication operation is to be performed when i press 3 then division operation is to be performed so here my expression will be what i will my expression will be the value of the choice given by or entered by user okay so during the example we can more clear about it so ultimately here the expression or the variable on the basis of which we will be selecting a particular case now here what is this case label one case is the fixed syntax like this is a keyword to be written case is to be written over here now label is what it's a value of this particular case how to identify this label should be unique for example if you are taking this example that one is for addition so i can write like this case one and then colon okay this colon is compulsory so this keyword case is compulsory then colon is colon is compulsory the label of the case that is to be given by the user okay then case body whatever the statement you want to execute if this particular case is true it can be one statement or many statement whatever it is but at last you need to write break it means that if you have started executing this particular case body then once break statement gets executed it will terminate the execution of the normal flow and it will jump directly to the end of the switch statement now you might have wondered that why we need to break this flow so it is mandatory that out of all the case labels only one case label is to be executed or only one case block is to be executed so if this particular case block gets executed then after executing this particular block your execution of the switch switch case statement must be terminated so for that we are using break if you will not be writing break then what will happen it will directly execute the next part so break statement is very much important here then likewise case label 2 so if this case is suppose i will be writing here c equals to a plus b okay and then i'll write break now for another case i will be writing case then case label is 2 here then colon and then the logic then case suppose 3 and then the logic okay so likewise so number of cases can be based on your requirement 
and finally there is a case named as default we need to write a default default means what suppose you have taken three cases that 1 2 and 3 but suppose user has entered 5 then what will happen so this 1 2 and 3 out of these three none of the case will be executed so this is invalid choice right this choice is not valid so in this particular case if all the case labels mentioned before default block does not get executed then the default block should be executed okay so default block we are writing to just ensure that any of the block mentioned before default block doesn't get executed so finally default block gets executed and you can prompt a message so this is very simple switch statement so again the keyword switch is to be used then expression then case then the labels and then body after the body there is a break statement you can write any number of case label case lastly it is default and at last you complete the case statement or switch statement correct now we try to understand this particular part with one example so here we have taken that if user press plus then addition is to be performed when user press minus subtraction is to be performed when user place this symbol then multiplication is to be performed correct so what we have done we have taken one variable character variable since this plus minus and multiplication are the characters so we will be taking one character variable for taking choice of user what user want then a and b are the variable to perform addition subtraction multiplication then after we have taken the choice of operation from user we have scanned the value of ch this is percentage c why because ch or we can say choice is character type of variable correct then we are taking the value of ab now based on this value plus minus and multiplication so this is presented by ch variable here this is presented by ch variable here so in switch case our expression will be or our variable on basis of which we will decide that which particular case gets executed is ch so in expression we have written ch so switch ch then we have defined three cases because i need to go with three cases plus sub minus and multiplication so case then plus now since this is in character we have mentioned it in single quote it is character constant so case single quote plus now see whenever there is a number then we will not be putting like this no why because it is already in integer so we'll be writing directly like this case 1 case 2 case 3 case 4 like that but when it is character then it is to be surrounded by single quote so this is case plus then the body so we will be printing the addition then we will break this then for case minus we have written a minus b for multiplication we have written a into b and if user will enter any character other than this t suppose i will enter division suppose i will enter multiplication suppose i will enter a suppose i will enter b anything anything other than this so what will happen when i will press multiplication so the value of ch will be what multiplication so it will come to the case 1 it will check whether this is multiplication no so it will jump to the next case whether this is multiplication no so it will jump to the next case whether this is multiplication yes so your choice and case label both are same then this particular block will be executed it means printf statement will be executed and break will be executed now since break is going to be executed then it from it will jump from this statement to directly end of the switch block i hope you understood now suppose i'll i i will enter modulo so case here it will check whether this is modulo or uh, symbol no so it will jump over here is it modulo symbol no it will jump from this to this is it modulo no so there are three cases before default and all three cases are false means your condition or your expression doesn't match with the case label 
So in this particular case, your default block will be executed and it will print that enter valid choice. Okay. So this is how your switch statement gets executed. Now what can be there as a case label? So you can write any character. Single character can be a case label. It can be short integer or it can be integer. These are some of the data types which can be considered as case label. So we cannot have case like 1.1. Why? Because 1.1 is real type of data. So this is not supported by this. Okay. So case A, case B, case C in a single quotation marks, it is supported. Why? Because it is into character category. Case 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, it is also possible because it falls into the complete and short integer and integer. But any case label will you other than this will not serve the purpose. Okay. I hope you understand. And the very important thing I want to tell you, okay, the location of default again matters a lot. Location of default matters a lot. Suppose I'll put this default over here. After case plus, I'll be putting default. Then my result will be different. So I request everyone to go through this example and try to get some variations. You put this default block between these two. Another ex uh, another trial and error you can do is don't write this, this break. Remove that break and try to execute this and observe the result. I hope you understand and uh, like this video. Thank you for watching.